tonight from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys taking on Matt Ryan and the Indianapolis Colts. Well, the roof is closed, but as you can probably tell, the mouths of these Cowboy fans could not be more wide open. It is a frenzied AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Indianapolis Colts and the Dallas Cowboys. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. Dak Prescott and Dallas taking the field for their first possession. Dak now in his seventh season in charge of the Cowboys. Two-time Pro Bowler. And how about the toughness of Dak Prescott? We see it all the time on the field. And remember when he had that serious ankle injury, would he return to form? Boy, did he ever. And he was better than ever, and that's great for the NFL. Terrific resilience, playing at a high level, capable of winning a championship with his arm and his legs. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Play fake. Here's Prescott. Rolling to his right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Dio Odangbo able to get him for a loss of about three. And, of course, that's not an easy man to sack. You know how elusive he can be. Try to get outside of the pocket. That was a great play on the defensive side. And I wonder what was going through his mind because he didn't seem as committed to using his legs to pick up yardage. He wanted to keep that play alive to either take off and go or throw it away. But he held on to the football and ended up getting sacked. 17 yards on the play there. and The Cowboys have a first down. Inside give to Elliott. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Colts territory. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. On second down, Elliott once more. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. I see an extra defensive back on the field. little surprise here on third and one. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. A three-yard loss, fourth down now. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped them, bringing up fourth down. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. And you can't do it much better than that. This ball kicks out of bounds at the four-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. Now last year's leading rusher in the NFL, this is Jonathan Taylor. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. They were looking for a cushion from that end zone. He gave it to him. 15 big yards. I guess it's good we can't really read the mind of the defensive coordinator now, huh? Had him pinned back there deep, give up that run. Can't be happy. Yeah, whatever was whatever is in his mind right now, we probably couldn't say over the air. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And he takes this one back in 
into the end zone, and the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Well, that's what you get, apparently, when you try to take on a Pro Bowl cornerback. And what a play there to make the interception and also bring it back for six. And he is so good that we've seen teams absolutely stay away from throwing the ball at him. Here, he's just reading the quarterback's eyes the entire way, makes a great play on the football, and turns it into six. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go-around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Ryan. And this is into the hands of Campbell downfield. Touchdown, Colts! Paris Campbell, 67 yards. And the Colts are an extra point away from evening this one up. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Frank Wright going to tell the offense to go for two. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he'll get in. And they take an 8-7 lead. Well, they got down 7-zip. They said, we'll go for two, one-up you, and they take the lead. How about that for a little risk-reward, right? If you don't get it, you're only down a point. Let's go ahead and make a statement in this ball game, and that's exactly what they did. The Colts kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25 throwing Prescott they'll set up the screen to Elliott he'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31 that's a nice design there but sometimes though you get so many blockers out ahead of you they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust you always appreciate guys trying to help you but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game and he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion down Prescott that's caught again by Schultz and they get to him after a gain of six to the 46 we've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter haven't we we have and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because number one you throw the short game until they stop it and if they're not going to stop you keep throwing it and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game also if they start to creep up start to pressure receivers now you go over the top take it deep and now you get some of those big shots downfield and for the Colts an extra defensive back in there now on third down Again, it's Elliott. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Up the middle, here's Elliott. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. 
And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. On second down, Elliott. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down at the Colts' 40-yard line. It's a six-yard run. Leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. So not his arm, but hurting him with his legs. A gain of 19 on the keeper and a first down. From the shotgun again to Elliott. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. The first carry now for Tony Pollard. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. Going to need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he is not going to get to the marker as they stop him short at the 14. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Brett Maher now for the Cowboy field goal. From the right hash, this a 31-yard attempt. Maher able to put this one through. Here it's 10-8. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown, but that's actually okay. They got three points, able to give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And the football changing hands here, and as this offense takes a field, Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage, but also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Just a gain of a couple, but good enough to keep the drive rolling. Here's Ryan. He'll drop this down to Taylor. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know. They want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. Pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes this forward for about six. The last run got six, now second and four. Ryan. This one completes Alec Pierce. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. First and 10, Taylor now. And he'll get it down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Ready, 
Again, it's Taylor. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. And that run was memorable for only one reason. There's absolutely no place to run with the football. No gaps, no creases, no gain. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Going with their tight end on fourth. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. They only needed about four or five inches there, relied on the big guys up front, and got it done. Yeah, this is the time to just go ahead and hit it straight ahead. No juking, right? No movement in the backfield. Take the ball and go. As I heard a coach tell a player a long time ago, save your dancing for the club, son. Just get up into that line of scrimmage. They'll run here with Taylor. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Colts have retaken the lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of a season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. And he is into the end zone as that pushes the lead up to six. So two successful two-point tries now for them. And you know what it does? It gives you a boost, a huge one for your team because, hey, you're dominating them now. They can't stop you either scoring touchdowns or two-point conversions. But how about the defense? You don't know what to do at this stage. You can't stop them in any direction. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Meanwhile, Dax throw pulled in by Lamb. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 47. Stephon Gilmore, he was the one defensively there who really blew that play up before it got started. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. To throw is Prescott. That's Elliott, complete. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there. Those guys being able to run from their assignment 
opponent and finish off that play. Following a gain of three on the play, and it'll be fourth down. On is the punter, Brian Anger, to kick this one away. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25. It will. 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Now Jonathan Taylor and the Colts offense retakes center stage. He's been effective so far over the 40-yard mark here in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. The leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones that have been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit lower than the guys on the other side of the football. And they've moved them out of the way for the runner. Sometimes that's tough for those big fellows. Not an easy thing for them to do. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now Ryan. And he's got the hook up here. It's Woods. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So just three yards on the completion there. And now we've got a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, here's Taylor. And he's going to be a yard short. Needed four, but got three. But a good play is made on defense. Oftentimes, leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned. All the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. And on that play, they were able to stop him short of a first down. Giving the big tight end on fourth. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now it's Ryan. Slant pass hauled in by Campbell. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. Nice chunky yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Off the play fake. Here's Ryan. They'll roll him in. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. But that sack backs Ryan the Colts up a bit here. Facing a third and long. Catch made here by Campbell. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. considered a pretty good kick just cruel punishment there to be denied by the crossbar if you're gonna hit from that distance sometimes you're gonna need a little luck and unfortunately for him this time the break goes against him and he'll be brought down just shy of 40. nothing fancy on first down but a very consistent type of a play hit that slant a lot of people call it an extension of the running game and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that the offense can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 17 yards on the play there, and the Cowboys have a first down. They keep on the ground with Elliott. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Prescott. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Touchdown! Ezekiel! 
touchdown ground. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from capturing the lead. Mar now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and they take the lead by a point, 17-16. So that drive, four plays. And it was all finished on the touchdown reception by Ezekiel Elliott. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Indy set to go on offense once more. And the way their last drive ended, boy, it was frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out, Charles, and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? Because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted. So you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send out the field goal unit. And then to not even see the ball go through the post. What a bummer on that last drive for them. Got to pick themselves up from that one. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Now he dumps this off over the middle. And he'll bring it up here to right. critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open can really generate big plays for an offense and he brings this up to the 46 good enough for the first 62 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in his first half couple of first downs to kick off the drive here's first and 10 up at the 46 to throw is Ryan over the middle, that's caught by Taylor. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. On second down, it's Taylor. And he'll go down, shy of the 40 at the 41. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. They go play action now. Ryan flushed out right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Ryan. And incomplete on the deep ball. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit and pick up yardage, but in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. And he'll find Pittman. And he's gonna have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 25-yard line. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. From the gun, it's Taylor. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. From the shotgun, Ryan. Touchdown, Colts! Jelani Woods from 19 yards away. And the Colts have yet again retaken the lead. 
A good tight end is a heck of a weapon for any quarterback, especially when you're able to create some mismatches. Sometimes they work against a linebacker. Sometimes they work against a smaller defensive back. But when they find it, they go to it, and it often results in touchdowns. They're going to try and run. And they are three for three on two-point conversions as he is into the end zone for the score. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. And out now come the Cowboys. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? Oh, into a sea of defenders had intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Colts are going to take possession of the football. Uh, certainly not his best throw that time, and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field, guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do, and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. Now the throw over the middle, and he's got it to start the drive. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts. As he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. On the handoff, Taylor. He'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lava's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. On the handoff, this is Taylor. And he's going to take this down to about the 17. 95 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Here's Ryan. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is a defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play. The force of the throw through contact and short of the sticks. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach turned his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. One second, all that remains. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. 
As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. Back and forth, we win in that first half. This has certainly been an entertaining one to watch thus far. So let's get right back out to it as we'll rejoin our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Second half ready to get underway. The Colts with a lead, and they will receive the football. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Well, the Colts ready to go to work to start the third quarter. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try to help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks. First half. Play action, Ryan. It goes as a loss of six. And now third down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Third and long, it's Ryan. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Now on fourth down, they throw the deep ball, and it winds up to be incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And now possession's going to go over with a football at the 20-yard line. Prescott on first down. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. Second down and three. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds, right around the seven. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run the jet sweep with Brown. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Steps away to his left. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Grover Stewart getting in there for the sack. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Now Prescott. Touchdown, Cowboys! Dak Prescott able to connect with Dalton Schultz. And the Cowboys have cut it back within a score. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And the lead is down to a field goal. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was the tight end Dalton Schultz on the touchdown reception to cap the drive. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. And he'll get him a little bit of breathing room across the five to the six-yard line. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They run once more with Taylor. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. 110 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. First and ten, it's 
Ryan. That one finds Pierce right side. Short completion, just four yards. And it'll be second down. Now a give to Taylor. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Backed up where they were on this side of the field, that was a gutsy call. A gutsy call that never should have happened. Not so much them going for it. That's their decision. But where's the defensive front? Where's the leverage? Where's the low man wins? Where's getting it? Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late round pick right there, making a first round impact. And a lot of these day three corners they end up winding up on special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense. He comes up with the interception there. Give him 18 on that one, and it's a Dallas first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Prescott looks to throw on first. And he'll go right back to Lamb. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. On second down, Elliott. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. Oh, Prescott stripped. And I believe the Colts have recovered. Yes, they have. And just as they thought they might be able to take that across and get the lead, a big red zone turnover. I know that I am defense-centric, and I want to give them a whole lot of credit. But I just can't believe, after that drive, in that position, ball security. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing? So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Running with Elliott. And this doesn't end well at all as they stop him far behind the line to gain. Ezekiel Elliott not able to get it past the marker. And the Colts are going to take over with a football. And you wonder, Charles, could that decision come back to haunt them later? And it really could, because in this situation, you kick the field goal in a tight game like this, that's a good play. Yeah. But maybe what he's saying to himself is, I'm just not a big proponent of the old idea that any possession that ends in a kick, I'm happy with. He wanted to be really aggressive. A little twist here in the third quarter. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now it's Ryan. Pass out left, caught by Woods. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Now a handoff, Taylor with it. And this is going to be a Colts first down as the tackle made at about the 38. 
Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. Back to Taylor on first down. He'll take it past the 40 to the 41, second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And it is incomplete. I had a defender running right with him. And now it's third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for it in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. They'll try and throw for him with Ryan. That's to his running back, complete. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Well, Parker, that was a heck of a play right there because there is no chance that he was the primary receiver on that play. Definitely checked it down to him and just said, please, help us out, make a play. And he does and delivers a first down. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. I thought maybe when he caught, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. They're going to run this with a tight end. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Looking for Jelani Woods that time, but it's going to be second down. They'll run with Taylor, and he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive took a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settled things down a little bit. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Taylor. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third and short, going with their tight end. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Going with their tight end on fourth. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. 
They're able to keep the drive alive. Seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. Taylor is not going to get back to the line of scrimmage as they'll tackle him at the three. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Well, it's apparent the defense understands the situation. They have to keep them out of the end zone here. That's a great start by them. A loss on that play. Can they force them into a field goal attempt and still give their offense an opportunity? To the goal line, but it's incomplete. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. They'll look to run with Taylor. And he takes it in for a cold score. Jonathan Taylor with his second touchdown of the night. And the Colts get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. And they would not be denied on the ground, powering it in just one play after they got stopped short. And how about how many tight ends were on the field? Because in today's NFL, we think of the tight end more as a pass catcher. But this group, they tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team. And they committed to it and got it done right there. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that about as lengthy a drive as you're ever going to see. And it was capped off by a Jonathan Taylor touchdown. The Colts kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Prescott from the gun, dancing to his left. And he'll slide to a halt here, still a little shy of the first down marker. He turned that into a nice gain, gets him eight yards closer for third down. Another carry tonight for the workhorse, Elliott. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Here's Brian Anger now, as he's on to punt for Dallas. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. Ryan and the Colts getting set here, first and 10. At their own 22, they'll start with a give to Taylor. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. Anthony Barr in on the tackle. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Again, it's Taylor. And he'll get a couple up to the 29. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. Giving to the big tight end on fourth. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. It'll be a pickup of four. And it'll give the Colts a first down. Here's Ryan to throw. And that's caught left side by Mo Alley Cox. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From the 41, Ryan. The toss here completed to Pittman. 
So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. Now the old pass completion for no gain, not something you want to call up out of the playbook too often. Yeah, most offensive coordinators don't have that on their play sheet, so they've got to go back and scramble after this one. But right now with what they're telling receivers about making sure you take care of the ball in open field, sometimes the fighting for extra yardage doesn't come as a result. That and good tackling can lead to no yards gained. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and 10. Ryan. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because oh, here we are in December. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. On first and 10, Prescott. Over the middle, complete. That's Schultz. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. 73 yards rushing now for Zeke, and he's got a first down. Looking to throw. Prescott out. To, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. That's Yannick Ngakwe with a sack. He's certainly one of those quarterbacks that can burn you with his mobility, but that time able to hem him in and get him to the ground. Perfect descriptor right there about how they kept him in the pocket. Excellent job of containment, but they were still able to continue to bring some. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Julian Blackman. And the Colts are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. But with the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys have been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start, it's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. 16 yards right off the bat at a first down. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Finally, defensively, they have a little clip to show positive for actually stopping him running the football. It's been a really long night for them, hasn't it? So they got a little bit of a win there, but let's face it, the vision that he's had running the football has carried his feet to the open spaces and to big yardage all night long. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it brings up third and five now. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. And going right back to Pittman. And they'll bring him down one yard shy after a pickup of four. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. That one a backbreaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. So this offense able to convert on fourth. And now a fresh set of downs here, first and ten. He's got his man, it's Pierce. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And he gets it down close to the 10 yard line. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 1.51 left. 
So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Ryan wants to throw it. Throw going to be caught left side here by Granson. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll run here with Taylor. And the hole closes quickly. He can fight only to about the four. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Here's Ryan. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And now what we have here, a third and goal. Ryan to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. Now the Colts are going to burn the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. the ground with a tight end and he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown Kylan Granson a five-yard touchdown run and the Colts are an extra point away from making this a three-score game is it okay if I break one of our rules partner which is to never call a game over until it's over because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline, and I think this one might just be over. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. One last shot now for Prescott. And Prescott, his third interception. Picked off by Julian Blackman. And the Colts come up with a late turnover, but it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gordon. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports.
Good night, everybody.